Hey guys, my name is Joel Gomez. I'm the series artist of La Muerta, published by Coffin Comics. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the Sakura products I'm about to use. Um, we're going to be using a Sakura Pigma brush pen, uh, the Sakura Jelly Roll pens, uh, various colors. Um, we're also going to be using today the Koi Pocket Field Sketch Box. Today we're going to do a, uh, a watercolor mixed media sketch of La Muerta from Coffin Comics. All right, so we're starting off this sketch with a Sumo Grip uh, 0 0.9 uh, technical lead holder. It's a great pencil, or I should say it's a great lead holder. Uh, it's got a nice squeezable uh, grip area, so uh, depending if you're holding the pencil really tense or if you're really relaxed and loose about it, it uh, it's really well done, ergonomically designed nicely for your hand. I kind of try to mix, mix it up, try different things out just to create a sense of uh, variety and spontaneity with the art. Um, just because uh, it's neat when you can kind of come up with a cool uh, mixed media look. Um, just something that looks different and uh, catches the eye, uh, but still is kind of um, uh, uh, a nod to the traditional way of how things are done in uh, drawing and sketch covers and commissions. La Muerta is the story of Maria Diaz, and uh, she's a Afghan war veteran who comes home from a tour of duty uh, when she's tragically gunned down with her family by a drug call cartel called the Z, the Z Crew, uh, the Zavalas, and uh, the Zavalas are led by Mama Z. Um, ruthless and conniving uh, cartel leader and she rules kind of with a with an iron fist the cool thing about uh, the look of La Muerta is uh, it is based on uh, Dia de los Muertos and the sugar skull calavera design um, so we really get to play that up with the uh, mixed media premise that we're using today. Yes, let's see. I've been using my field sketch box pretty often. Uh, carry it with me. Well, not as much to shows, but um, I used to carry it to a lot of different shows um, doing watercolor commissions and um, Again, they weren't traditional watercolor commission pieces. I would combine things. Um, I'd combine markers uh, with the watercolor uh, lay-in. Um, it just creates a really cool effect and uh, a unique look to the art. And so I, I made a point of, you know, incorporating, incorporating it as often as I could. Um, just because it makes the art stand out. It makes... Uh, makes for a unique piece and uh, that's kind of the neat thing about a lot of the um, Sakura products is they kind of they play well together so to speak okay. add a little bit of uh, dark blue in here as well and add an extra look to our character here All right, we had to take a moment to pause to let some of this uh, watercolor stuff dry so that I can uh, <clears throat> add other uh, stuff to it like the brush pens and jelly roll pens. Otherwise it wouldn't have uh, mixed with the really wet watercolor medium. But okay, yeah, so, so all right, so we're gonna put down a couple of different um, quick tones and stuff, so then I'm going to go in and try and work on the filigree of uh, Maria's face paint. It's kind of cool. Um, 
Maria has this uh, look to her uh, sugar skull design. But honestly, like I, <laughs> I've actually um, kind of come up with my own version of it. You know, I've seen, I have the action figure and I have, uh, um, I've seen on a lot of the covers, like there's a unique look, but I, I still kind of have my own version of how I like to do her, um, her makeup. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty cool to, uh, to play around with in my, in my opinion. Um, adding a little kind of a unique twist to it. My own version, I should, should say. In a lot of ways, uh, Maria is very similar to uh, the crow. Um, kind of have an origin story where revenge is a big part of, of her backstory. So now I'm going back in with the Pigma Micron 05 just to crisp up some of those lines. And kind of bounce around between uh, colors. Kind of make all uh, the cool extras that she uses. Crosses, crucifix, necklaces. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, a lot of times the uh, Sakura products, they play really well together. Um, <clears throat> it really lends itself to some pretty cool effects and whatnot. Um, and that's kind of what I shoot for with a lot of these things. Um, and I, I really, you know, can't stress that enough, enough to you to just try and experiment um, with the tools to see what kind of results you get. Uh, they all each have a kind of unique thing to each one. And... Uh, it's kind of neat because then they can end up becoming part of your repertoire, something you put in your toolbox for how you approach something or a certain way of, of uh, tackling or solving problems, you know? Um, and that's kind of the fun of these tools. You really get to play around and check out what they do. There we go, guys. Thanks so much for joining me and checking out what I usually do uh, with my Sakura micron pans and jelly rolls and field sketch boxes. Um, really, it's just a, it's just an opportunity to explore, use these tools to create new ways of interpreting things you like. You know, uh, for me. It's an opportunity to uh, draw a character in a way that I haven't seen before or um, just present something unique, add an extra twist that maybe someone hasn't seen uh, out of you as an artist. Um, so that's the thing, man. Really, it's rules uh, that just don't apply. It's mostly tools. Uh, a couple of quick things really quickly. Uh, please uh, make sure to check out our latest Coffin Comics uh, campaign, La Muerte Ascension. It's uh, live on Kickstarter now for a couple more days. Uh, and for updates, exclusives, and appearances, please uh, join our mailing list at LadyDeathStore.com. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it.